Hey guys, welcome to Lake Nomad. Today we're going to be making some swim baits. I think I'm going to try something a little different. I've been doing the same thing a lot, so let's just get to it. Right, so I got our plastic here. I've got the uh, the bloodline, or the bloodline, but the, I guess it'd be the bloodline. Trying to heat it up. I need to reheat it. I kind of had to go get my camera inside, and I can never find stuff. It's just like my workshop. But we have this color for the blue line. I think it's going to be awesome. And then I have two cups here. Like I guess I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone today. Hopefully I can do that. I really love going to the baby bass. I love going to rainbow trout. I like going to bluegill. Today I'm trying to do something. I'm not even looking at a fish. In my, like specifically, I... I I'm trying to just make something new to this. Look at those colors dance. That is crazy. Look at those colors. Wow. I'm going to make the bottom color. I'm thinking, thinking blue, honestly. Just a, a light blue um with the highlight from big plastics here sorry not big plastics i'm gonna use this blue from Lurecraft, this uh, highlight powder for the bottom i do not want it to be very strong at all that's it it's still quite a bit for some people maybe but for me that's nothing I don't know. I tend to make pretty strong bellies. I need to sometimes make them a little lighter. I've seen people like, uh, oh, Woodsworth Fishing kind of use lighter bellies. And I just always go, wow, why don't I do that? And then I come out here and I'm like, I want to do a dark belly. So comfort zone destroyed. That is straight bait plastics. And it is awesome in here. Okay. For the top. I keep going back from black to brown. I never do brown. I think brown is ugly. I'm doing brown. Right, so we're going to pour our bellies first. This thing has the best action. I love it so much. All right, let's get started. You know what? I actually don't mind it so much. With that T-Rex color shift in there, it definitely adds some prettiness to an otherwise poopy color.
All right, let's open this up. I want a truth here. Okay. What? I did something wrong. Dang. Color's not bad at all. I don't know what I did. Okay, that's that's new. I did something wrong. That's upsetting. All right. Well, I was wondering if it was cold when I poured the tail. I wonder if it was able to harden before it got down there. I should probably get them old hotter next time. You know, live and learn. I guess. I was just, it was definitely my fault though. I was wondering when I was pouring it, I was man, that's kind of, kind of thick, but I was like, nah, it'll be fine. It'll get down there. No, didn't. Okay. See, it's not blowing my mind. I mean, that looks natural. I mean, let's see how close. It's not nothing blow my mind. That's why I was doing this though. So I like it in that one. This one I do like it in. So, maybe it just looks good in different molds, because it looks, I like it in the jackhammer, but I don't like it so much in other ones. Not blowing my mind, but absolutely, absolutely adequate, right? That's a pretty cool effect, you see that? Well, thank you guys for watching though um definitely a learning experience not my best work at all but i did learn a few things along the way i think there's a way to use that brown on the back i think i just need to change a different bloodline color and i i do want to add more highlight next time that's gonna have to happen anyway guys thank you for watching and i'll catch you soon